A wild end of the week weather-wise, and that continues this weekend with gusty wind settling down tonight, but the isolated storm chance and temperatures 20 degrees below average continuing into tomorrow. Valley View camera looks beautiful, looks like a painting with a few of those clouds and the gorgeous blue sky, but it definitely looks better than it feels. Our temperatures right now are a little more typical of maybe winter or early spring than the end of May. 64 right now at McCarran and at the Henderson Airport, 62 in North Las Vegas, 68 in Henderson, 57 in Pahrump. These temperatures are 20 degrees cooler than this time yesterday and more than 20 degrees below the seasonal average. Then we have the breeze on top of it, really contributing to the cool feel with sustained winds still between 10 and 20 and gusts hovering right around the 30 mile per hour mark. This is a huge improvement on yesterday's 50 mile per hour gusts, but still a noticeable wind. You'll have to keep in mind as you head out and about for your Friday night plans. We aren't completely clear of wind related plot products. The red flag warning, which is the high fire danger, continues up and down the Colorado River Valley and the wind advisory for Southern Clark County with gusts up to 45 miles per hour still possible through 8 o'clock tonight. But in general, our attention will now turn to the storm chance that continues to linger thanks to this area of low pressure that's now centered right over central Nevada. We saw a few of these spotty storms earlier today, and that's what we're going to see pushed through again this evening. The coverage, it's not all that impressive, but while you are in the middle of one of those showers or storms, they could pack a punch. We did see locally heavy rain with some of those storms earlier today. So as we put future cast into play, you still see it's only a 10 to 20% chance, but that does linger into tonight. The cloud cover clears out and things settle down into early Saturday morning. So you'll wake up to sunshine to start the day tomorrow, but those uh, isolated shower chances return once again for the second half of the day. Chances between 20 and 30% with some isolated storm activity possible as well as mountain snow. This storm system completely moves on from the region by Sunday, so that's when things will settle back down and our temperatures will start to warm back up. But in general tonight, do expect the chilly and breezy conditions to continue. It's after sunset that the wind will finally let up. Check out these temperatures though. 60s through dinner time by 8 p.m. Low 60s with the cloud cover clearing overnight into tomorrow morning. Our lows fall to the low 50s. That is a cold start to your Saturday morning and highs tomorrow capped again about 20 degrees below the seasonal average in the low 70s with that uh, spotty rain or storm chance. We'll start with sunshine with clouds increasing by Sunday though looking so much better, right? Uh, temperature will rebound about 10 degrees calm and sunny still below average by quite a bit, but certainly better than what we dealt with the past several days. But keep in mind if you're heading to Mount Charleston, a little bit of a snow chance lingers tomorrow. Temperature is looking better by Sunday as the sunshine returns by the start of next week. We're getting closer to the seasonal average 90s return by Tuesday.